Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Sonali and unfortunately I decided not to do Vlogmas this year just because the first half of December I am traveling. So I was just in Baton Rouge. Well, before that, let's rewind. I was in Georgia for Thanksgiving because that's my hometown. So I went back to Roswell and saw my dad for a little bit and then went to my mom's. And then I went to Baton Rouge on a work trip for like two, two-ish days. And now I'm in Tampa for a wedding and then after Tampa, I'm going to Nashville for a work conference for like a whole week and then I get back to Austin December 10th So I didn't want to like stress myself out um, with like posting vlogs every day, especially because I'm gonna be just like working and um not doing super fun stuff to vlog every day so it's kind of a bummer because i did it last year and it was so rewarding like finishing vlogmas but we are in tampa so we're gonna explore i've been here like once or twice before and i came here with my friend laura in college for like one day because i had a video gig here we did a lot of exploring and one thing that everyone in my sorority because if you didn't know i went to college at ucf in orlando so a lot of my friends actually live in st pete or like tampa area so throughout college every time they would be like oh my god if you visited tampa like you would love oxford exchange laura and i went there when we visited and i'm taking ryan so we're headed out to oxford exchange then we're going to come back here he has like a work call and then we're going to do some shopping I feel like I didn't pack anything good so I kind of just want to see what's out there and also um, I bought a wedding dress super last minute and it's so freaking long so I think I'm gonna need to get some taller heels which honestly I don't even like taller heels but we're gonna see what they got out there. <laughs> I also need like a black taller pair for like my awards ceremony dress for conference so we're gonna do a little bit of shopping, but I have this sweater on from Vici Dolls at Nordstrom. It's super cute. I'll link it down below. I have a full mom outfit going on because I'm in skinny jeans and sneakers. They're Air Force ones, so I don't think they count. Very exciting news, I finally got my first rental car. I turned 25 on November 25th, and it was perfect timing because we really needed a rental car in Tampa. The fees when you're not 25 are insane, so we really lucked out with me turning 25 right before. Okay, so now we're in like the shops of Oxford Exchange and you guys know we love smelling candles but like all of these freaking candles smell like either a grandma or like mass, like Catholic mass. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it but you just know when you smell it. It's like not that bad. I think that was like the one that like did not smell like a grandma out of all of them. No offense to my grandma, love you. <laughs> It's a little later. We actually went back to the Airbnb because Ryan had to take a call and I finally published my birthday vlog. I don't know what has gotten into me, but like when I get home, I get so lazy and do not want to touch my computer at all. So I was like kind of in that mood. I just like did not want to edit that video, even though I already had it like cut up and chopped up. I just like didn't put like the music and the sound effects and like the iPhone video so I had to do all that but I think it turned out really well it was like a 41 minute vlog because I included like Thanksgiving and um, just celebrating my birthday at home so go check that out if you haven't already but now we are going to International Plaza or International Mall I'm not really sure what it's called but also my lips are like having not good day basically like this part of my lip like upper lip always used to get so dry I used to have the worst eczema up there it's definitely gotten a lot better but i think because i've been like you know going back from like atlanta baton rouge tampa like it's just a little bit confused or like the climate's confusing my skin a little bit so now it's just gotten so dry and now i feel like my lips are literally like on fire with an allergic reaction so 
I like do not feel very confident today, but hopefully I can like soak my face in some ointment tonight and it'll be perfect for the wedding. Time flew so fast. We have the rehearsal dinner tonight at 5.30 and I'm photographing it, so I have to be right on time. And it is 3.42 right now. The um, house where they're having the rehearsal dinner is like 45 minutes away. So we're gonna get some fresh kitchen because I'm kind of hungry right now and I just have to get it. Also, like I posted on my story that I was like really missing fresh kitchen and Susai um, at UCF. Those were like my two go-tos. And Susai messaged me back and said, they have one in Tampa, so now I have to go on Sunday. I'm like, damn. I mean, there's so many other good places in Tampa, but I'm just like, I have been craving Fresh Kitchen and Susai. If you guys go to UCF, you know. We drove over to Palm Harbor, Florida. It's time for Sam's rehearsal dinner. And like I said, I'm photographing it and I'm kind of nervous because I haven't done like a wedding. I mean, it's not a wedding, but like, you know, wedding event in a really long time. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm also very excited and I don't even know what to expect. I've never been to a rehearsal dinner before, I don't think. Um, so shall be interesting. I'll probably just vlog everything on my phone and I don't even know how much I'll vlog because I'll probably be like so, um, you know, busy photographing the event. Morning, happy Saturday. We are pulling up to Hyde Park. Um, the wedding is today, but it starts at 3.30. So we have like a little bit of time. I totally forgot that none of the stores are gonna be like open until like probably 10. We're gonna try to get some coffee. I know Buddy Brew's around here somewhere, um, but if there's something else, maybe we'll go there because I kind of want some food. The rehearsal dinner last night was super nice and the photos looked really good. I just went ahead and like edited everything because I personally know like if it was my rehearsal dinner, like I want the photos like ASAP. I guess that's just being me, a millennial that always wants like what's it called like instant gratification so i got her the photos this morning it's funny because i realized i have actually been to tampa multiple times but in college i went to gasparilla like two times and basically you get on a bus start drinking it's like what two hours drive from orlando and so you're getting drunk on the bus you come to tampa and you're like drunk <laughs> and with a whole big group of people. There's so many people out and you just like go to Bayshore and like, I guess drink more and then watch the Gasparilla Parade. And then like, what is it? Five hours later, you get back on a bus and then you just like take a nap and get back to Orlando. So it didn't ever feel like I was in Tampa, but technically, yeah, I've come to Tampa like actually at least four times probably. <laughs> But it is Ryan's first time, so we're doing a lot of sightseeing. I kind of want to take him to St. Pete Beach because I've never seen it, and a lot of my friends live there from college, and they always talk about how amazing it is over there. So maybe on Sunday, tomorrow, we definitely have a more chill day, so we can do really whatever we want. because tonight it will probably be a long night but I thought I would do a little face mask before I put my makeup on I love using um, these sheet masks from Rael before like any big event because they just like make my skin feel so moisturized I mean yesterday I was telling you guys how it was like irritated right here and just like really dry so very much needed it was feeling a little bit better today but I want my foundation to go on like perfectly so I'm using the vitamin C brighten and glow 
sheet mask from Rael. I got a huge pack of these on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. I'm also starting on my hair. My hair is still wet from this morning because I put it up in a bun just because like I wanted it to still be a little bit damp so I could use my Dyson Airwrap. And so I'm just going to do some Dyson Airwrap curls and I'm going to set them so I have one setting back here already um, and do my whole hair. I'm going to take off this and then just like do the top and stuff. I think it's around like 2.15 right now. Wedding starts at 3.30 so I feel like I might be a little bit rushed. We're all ready for the wedding. <laughs> Definitely had to rush a little bit but this dress is from Lulu's. It's just a long green dress and then I'm wearing the heels that we got from the mall yesterday. They are Mark Fisher and they're so cute. Let me show you guys. These are the shoes. They're freaking stunning. I love them. Hopefully I don't have to break them in too bad tonight. Ryan looks so freaking good. I never see you in a suit, I feel like. You look really good. Yeah, yeah or your hair looks good, or your your beard looks good. Everything about you. I'm just saying that because you're making us late. <laughs> but, no, you look really good. Thanks. Well, my outfit of the day, Black Friday, Ralph Lauren suit. Love it. Cole's shirt. Uh-huh. I don't, I don't know, the club room or something? Um, where are the shoes from? Tell us where the shoes are. the San Antonio's. The real, real. Ooh. No, I, well, I have a watch as a San Tony band matches it, but I'm wearing the Rolex instead. Nice. Ran into the newlyweds getting breakfast. <laughs> Sunday. We are actually currently in St. Pete Beach. We got breakfast in Tampa and we ran into the newlyweds. It was so random. We were like parking and they were getting out of their car. I was like, Sam, oh my God. So that was fun to see them after their wedding day. The wedding was beautiful and she was stunning. I mean, Sam's like always gorgeous. The dress she chose, her hair, like her makeup. Oh my God, she was gorgeous. And the ceremony itself, like the sun was setting in the most perfect way. It was like she was glowing up there. Got to see a lot of sorority sisters that I haven't seen in a while, so that was fun. Today is our last day, so we wanted to just see a different area, and a lot of my college friends are from St. Pete or live in St. Pete, and so they're always talking about how much they love it. So I was like, okay, I have to see it. So we are at Passa Grill Beach, and last night they were telling me to go here. The name was just like rolling off their tongue. And then when I saw it like typed out in the maps, so I was like, what the hell? It's literally pass-a-grill with the E. It's like, who comes up with these names? Like so random. I did bring my swimsuit um, and my suitcase, but I don't even know if it's gonna be like cold or hot in the ocean. So I was just like, I won't wear it today. We'll probably just put our feet in the water. I think in college we came to clear water, but I think it was like a bad day because I literally don't remember. I think it was like, raining or something? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> it was going to be that seafood place in the pier, remember? Kind of, yeah. It was raining kind of hard. Oh. That was that day? What the fuck? Why did we come all the no. way over here? <laughs> no idea. Do you like Tampa though? Um, yeah, it's nice. I mean, like I've, I've been telling people it's in my top five places I'd move from just where I visited. <laughs> yeah, but obviously there's places like LA and stuff like that that cost more, which mm -hmm. is why this is in the top five because it's probably the most affordable. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, it's nice, it's clean. Yeah, coming here really makes me miss Florida because I went to UCF in Orlando, but I don't know if this is the place for me to live. Like I feel like I would like a place with all four seasons and obviously Florida does not have that. So we went through downtown St. Pete and I remembered that the Salvador Dali Museum 
was right around the corner. We're just gonna walk around. We're trying to like waste some time. He wants to go to um, this bar called Ferg's. Is that what it's called? Um, my friend Tiffany's boyfriend's family owns it. So we were just gonna stop by and say hi and probably watch the game. Falcons game, right? Falcons Buccaneers, which is a big crazy. one. Crazy. No, it's in Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's mean? cool. It's a random, yeah. Is it is it the game happening here in um, Atlanta? Probably in Atlanta, a right? Was last night in the dome. Or in yeah, Georgia Soviet lost. Games. How do you feel about Georgia losing last night? I mean, pretty expected. <laughs> I feel like oh. I'm not. I wasn't really let down that much. I didn't have high ups. I kind of went in there knowing we were gonna lose. Yeah. are chilling in the locker room and I just like want to go home and like unbox it all and like purge my closet organize the house and then like that Friday I think we're gonna drive back to Austin so very back fun but oh, yeah. back to Atlanta yeah that's what I meant um so that's gonna be very fun um but I think I'm gonna stop in NOLA and see my friend Hannah tomorrow I'm going to a work conference in Nashville and my flight's like at eight something which means I have to leave extra, extra early because we rented this car and I have to be the one to return it tomorrow. So maybe I'll leave at like 5.30, maybe six, because now I have clear, but I never want to chance it, you know, because security lines, like you never know. Tuesday. I'm currently in Nashville. I swear I'm going on like a freaking tour of the United States <laughs> in these couple of weeks. I will have been to, let's see, um, technically Atlanta is one because I went there for Thanksgiving. Atlanta, Baton Rouge, um, Tampa, Nashville, back to Atlanta, but I won't count that. Oh wait, Austin, um, and then Dallas. I'll have been to six different cities in the whole December, which is freaking insane. Living out of a suitcase is definitely not ideal, especially when you are the opposite of a minimalist. I don't even know what I freaking packed. This is like our um, jacket that we got last conference, Landmark Properties, um, and I'm just wearing jeans and sneakers. But I'm here to take photos and videos, so I feel like I almost get like a hall pass, not a hall pass, but you know, like I feel like it's fine if I'm in sneakers and not in business casual wear. I don't even know what business casual is, but Anyways, um, just wanted to update you guys. I'll probably throw in like a Nashville montage. We're staying at Gaylord um, Opry, which is like known to have like the best Christmas decorations. And it was really pretty last night. 